This YCN segment is brought to you by LaValle Building Supply and Middleton Building Supply. Welcome back. YCN Sports Talk. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, and today we continue with our Red Sox coverage. Nine and one start. A great start. The offense has been hitting finally. We talked about the defense. Now let's get to the all-important starting pitching. And there were some question marks. Some of them have been answered. Some of them still remain to be uh, resolved. But Chris Sale, he's one of them that has continued. He hasn't been as efficient as you'd like, yeah. but he's not giving up runs, right. and he's striking guys out. Yeah, I was going to say, last year, Chris Sale, at least in the first half of the season, it seemed like every pitch he had control, right? Yeah. He just looked lights out. This year, he's kind of missing some locations, but like you said, limiting the runs completely. Right. Uh, I think he's only gone six innings. Six, yeah. I think he went six, five, and six Right, now, he's not yesterday. gone past the six. Right, yeah. but uh, he's limiting the runs. Only allowed a one run last night. It was a bomb to Aaron Judge. Yeah, that was But deep. still, just one run. He, yeah. I mean, that's what you want from a starting pitcher. And, and striking out Stanton twice. Right. Which yeah. I know that might not seem like a big deal yeah. now because he's striking out every. Right. He's Stanton striking out all the time. But yeah, still. I think he had eight strikeouts and six innings. He, he's, yeah, and. Uh, Even when he doesn't have his complete stuff, well, he's still well, and, elite, right? Right, and that's the thing. He knows where to miss the spots. Right. You know, he's not like that guy who's missing and leaving them up in the zone. He's right. kind of missing on the corners, and he might yeah. be walking guys or getting to 3-2 counts or whatever. Yeah. But he's still pitching well. Another guy we'll see uh, tonight, David Price. Yeah. He's pitched well, and he's kind of picked up where he left off at the end of last season. Yep. Uh, and then even after that, I mean, the rest of their pitching staff, obviously the two guys filling in, and Porcello. I I'm really encouraged because yeah. even Porcello had a good opening game. And then his second game, he gave up a couple runs, yep. but then he settled down. He's looking good. Maybe not yeah. back to Cy Young caliber, but a lot better than last year. Yeah, I mean, we all expect Chris Sale to be good, but David Price, yeah. you know, uh, I think people thought this might be his redemption year, and so far he's doing right. exactly that. I don't think he's allowed a run, right, through two starts. I think yeah, his he's, ERA he's, is zero. He's probably, yeah, he's been the best pitcher, I right. think, really. Yeah, really, the starting pitcher, absolutely. And so tonight against the Yankees, that's going to be a big test for him. Uh, I mean, if he can do what he's done already this season – I think a lot of people in Boston are going to start to be big David Price fans. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing. We knew it all along. When he yeah. pitches well and the Red Sox are winning, they'll be oh, yeah. right behind him. It Absolutely. was just he got off to a rocky start last yeah, year, with, then the offseason. And the Eckersley Yeah, stuff the off-field stuff. Yeah. Oh. So a couple guys, uh, Rodriguez, Eduardo Rodriguez, he yeah. pitched on Sunday. He has been the one exception to great starting pitching. Right. You knew it was he wasn't going to come out and pitch lights out. Yep. I guess, where do you say, sit on, on his outing? Didn't get into fourth inning or didn't get out of the fourth inning. Yeah. Not terrible. Kept, kept him in it, I guess you could say. They came back and won. Yeah. But still, you'd like to see a little bit more. Yeah, he came out of that game and, and started really strong. I think he struck out the side in the first inning, but he started to struggle. Uh, he let up a ton of hits. He, he yeah. got hit pretty hard. Um, but, you know, I think just coming back from an injury now, he missed his first few starts. I think he's going to have to kind of ease into it a little bit. I think he's going to be a really good fourth or fifth starter for this team. He's just kind of got to get his, you know, he's got to get his footing a little. Right, and that's the biggest thing with him. He, he's got to come back and not rehab, but he's got to get some, I mean, this is like, he didn't have much of a spring training, right, so this exactly, is kind of the same yep. type of thing. And then another guy, Drew Pomerantz, he will be getting a start, I think, with Portland on Friday. Yes. And then hopefully he pitches well there, and he'll be back with the club. So that's kind of encouraging as well. Yeah, I mean, Drew Pomeranz, we forget, he was just an all-star a couple seasons ago, right? And last yeah. year, he did really well. He was really kind of underrated on this team. He pitched really well. I think his ERA was about three and a half. He, yeah, he was, was really good, good last year. Um, so if he can come back and be healthy and be effective, just another really good starter for this team. Okay, now we move to the bullpen a little bit. I mean, there's not a lot to talk, talk about right. there as the starting pitching has been lights out. Yep. But the bullpen, let's not forget, they've gotten out of some jams. They've gone out of some tough spots. Yep. Uh, they got a couple new guys in there. Yeah. Obviously, they got Craig Kimbrell in there. Yep. So, I mean, it's encouraging. There's not really a lot of holes right now. I know we're only 10 games in. Not a lot of holes on this team. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Joe Kelly and Carson Smith have been a little shaky early on. Yep. Uh, that first game of the right, season, obviously. we remember that one. That was a heartbreaker. But they've looked a li they've looked better um, going on t uh, more games into the season. But Craig Kimbrell has been really good. He's been lights out. And is it Bobby Pointer? Pointer, yes. Pointer. The new he, lefty. Yeah, right? the new yep. lefty. He's really low down in the prospect rankings in the Red Sox system. But he made the team. He's been really effective yep. as a lefty out of the bullpen. Yeah, he pitched on opening day at Fenway and, yep. and uh, kept him in the game. And so... Yeah. Yeah. He has been a nice welcome addition. Plus, they got a couple other guys in there. Uh, but that bullpen is always evolving. As we've seen, the Yankees yep. bullpen, they've struggled. But we know they're going to be good. So it's kind of hard to actually get a pinpoint on, on the bullpen 10 days into the season. Right. But, hey, they're winning. That's all that matters right now. Keep, the, keep it going. 
against the Yankees. They got two more. Porcello on the mound for game three after David Price. So hopefully they can get the sweep in the early season against the Yankees because they all count the same yeah. Oh, yeah. no matter when they are. Absolutely. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll talk Celtics. NBA regular season wrapping up. Who will the Celtics face in the playoffs? And are they in danger of not getting out of the first round? We'll take a break. You're watching YCN Sports Talk. <laughs> 